What have you thought, you know, of the first year of Korchinski? I know Nazar was hurt, Ludwinski was hurt, but that, that 2022 draft class, how do you assess her first years after the draft? Well, I, I think that was one of the reasons why we jumped so high from, and I, I think it was Scott Wheeler and the Athletic that did it, um, because we didn't necessarily get the big name of the big fish last year, but we we did a lot of depth. I mean, I let me take that back. I think Kevin Kochinski is going to be a big fish just on base on his plus one year, but we didn't know that picking seven. We knew he was really good. He met our traits of skating, competitiveness, IQ, character. So we took him and it, it's right now it looks like it's going in the right direction. Um, but with the other picks, you know, you, there's, there's, if you don't get the big fish, then you, you build it through the depth of the draft, which if you look at Carolina right now, they, you know, Ajo is very good. Pesci's very good. Um, Slavin's very good, but they don't really have that big time name guy. Like when you think of the Carolina, Carolina hurricanes, you're just going to rifle off a name, um, but they've got very good depth and they've got very good hockey players. The thing with us is we just didn't have a lot of good hockey players in the prospect system. We had, you know, we had guys that could skate, or we had guys that had an IQ, but we didn't have a lot of guys that had a lot of the traits. And I think if we keep sticking to the traits, we'll be able to continue to build up the prospect pool more. But last year's, I think last year's draft was a very good start. 